Okay, it is September 22nd and I have been out at the barn gathering all of my supplies that I'm going to be needing because my chicks are hatching tomorrow and I'm super, super excited. I have a set hatching tomorrow and then I have another set hatching a week from tomorrow. I have a super, super exciting package coming today. I have been working on a really exciting project and I'm doing it like independently so I don't have to wait until like other people say it's okay for me to tell y'all. I don't know if y'all want me to tell you guys and then I can like have y'all get excited about it with me and like have y'all a part of the process or if you just want me to tell you when it launches let me know like in the comments if you guys want me to tell you or wait until it launches and then tell you i'm currently in the chicken coop so i'm sorry if it's loud so yeah comment any guesses that you may have as to what i'm launching and what you think it is everyone that follows me like on instagram and snapchat are gonna know first um be sure you're following me over on my instagram and snapchat it's always linked in the description box um, but I'm currently in the chicken coop right now, and I'm going to answer some of the questions that y'all sent me over on my Instagram um, of some... <laughs> it's kind of loud in here. I'm going to answer some of the questions y'all sent me over on my Instagram that y'all had about, like, chick care and things, like, along those lines. So the first question is, can I give a five-month-old hen pellets instead of crumble? I don't know if they will be able to eat it. And a five-month-old pullet would be absolutely fine eating pellets instead of crumble. I think it's going to be too loud in here. Okay, I moved out of the chicken coop because I thought it was too loud in there. Um, okay, the next question is, what is the best chicken breed for beginners? And I actually have a whole video on this, so I'll have it linked down in the description box for you guys. And the next one is, can you deworm your chickens? And if so, how? I deworm my chickens and ducks with diatomaceous earth. It's all natural. And I have a video that I made about it a really long time ago. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's still up on YouTube. So I'll have a link down in the description box as well. And the next one is, what type of chickens do you have? <laughs> oh my gosh. I have so many. Um, okay. I have Lavender Orpingtons. Golden Sex Links, Barred Rocks, Buff Orpingtons, um, a White Leghorn, Easter Eggers, Blue Copper Morans, Silkies, Cochins, a Porcelain Diacle. What else do I have? Hold on. <laughs> Is that it? 
And then we have Pekin ducks. I think that's all. I don't think I have any other breeds. I could be wrong though. Okay, what feed do you get for your ducks? My ducklings get a non-medicated chick starter with a niacin, which is vitamin B3 supplement because ducks need more vitamin B3 than chickens do. So if you feed a chicken based feed to ducks and don't give them a niacin supplement, then they'll um, be deficient. If you feed a chicken feed to ducks, you have to um, supplement with a vitamin or something. Um, so that's what I do. Um, but the best thing to do is to feed a feed that's made for ducks. And um, that way you don't have to like buy separate supplements and stuff. What age do you start getting your chicks used to your full grown hens? Um, normally I will introduce my pullets to my older hens like when they're about the same size and almost ready to start laying eggs so normally what I'll do which I'm sure y'all have seen it like in vlogs and stuff if you watch my vlogs what I'll normally do is have my teenage birds in like a dog kennel inside my chicken coop that way they can get used to the surroundings and my other chickens being in a kennel and that way they can get used to each other through the fence Okay, the next one is, is it harder to incubate duck eggs as opposed to chicken eggs? And I personally think that ducks are a little bit harder to incubate than chicks. Um, and a lot of people say that too, the ducks are harder than chickens. How can you get the older chicks to get along with the big hens? My hens killed two of my chicks. I would not put your chicks with your full-grown chickens until they are about the same size. How old do they have to be before you can take them off the heat lamp? Um, your chicks have to be completely feathered before you can take them off of the heat lamp. And if you live somewhere where it's cold, they still might need it. Okay, those are all of the questions that I'm going to answer in today's video. I love and appreciate y'all so much, and I'll see y'all really soon. Bye!